Well, from high-tech amenities to giant showers, modern bathrooms are starting to look more like spas. Yes, if you're looking to maybe transform your bathroom into maybe a personal oasis, we are scrubbing through some of the top trends. Joining us from the American Society of Interior Designers and Crystal Kitchen and Bath is Caitlin Stokes. Hi. We Good love morning. to talk about yes. remodeling, especially <laughs> the bathroom. A place that some right? people like to hide out. Yes. Tell our parents. Yes. Um, okay, we want to we want to go to an oasis. We want to mm -hmm. have a spa like experience. Explain yes. how people are incorporating that into their designs now. Well, I think with COVID happening last year and a lot of us spending a lot more time, um, as I mentioned previously on this program, kitchens are really the hub of the house, whereas bathrooms are really the sanctuary. It's where we go to wind down, to relax after a long day. So we're seeing clients who are adding amenities like heated floors um, or wow. even steam showers are becoming a lot more popular these days. And you can add aromatherapy and chromotherapy to those to really elevate them. Um, but we're really seeing clients going towards a more organic color palette to utilizing more stained woods versus painted um, and utilizing porcelain floors that look like natural stone mm -hmm. too. Yeah, oh, okay. I think um, the heated floors are going under my the, under the list of things I regretted not doing yeah. in my basement. We bathroom. hear that quite often. I wish I would <laughs> right. that because the floor is so cold, cold. when you get out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's a genius <laughs> idea. So when I picture a tub that's standalone, I picture those old movies back in the day, but it sounds like these standalone tubs are actually coming back in style now? They are, and I'm a big tub person too. I My big thing at the end of the day is going home and pouring my glass of wine and my candles and my book, um, but we're seeing those freestanding tubs really becoming more of an artistic piece in okay. your home and your bathroom bathroom specifically and just adding a focal point to that space and just again being you know a nice area to relax in it just screams i want to you know take a bath <laughs> and I, I, i'm there i am so there Seriously. yes okay let's talk showers now mm -hmm. and they are still pretty standard but things are actually trending larger when it comes to our showers yes so on the flip side of those tubs what we're seeing is we're seeing clients who are actually taking their tubs out or their tub shower combos out and expanding their shower areas so we're seeing them adding built-in benches uh, multiple shower heads so rain heads and handheld showers and things like that just to create a nice large shower for you. Okay, what is what do you mean when um, you talk about standing or excuse me aging in place elements? Talk about that. Yeah, so some of those might include um, grab bars throughout your bathroom. We're seeing manufacturers come out with much more um, aesthetically pleasing grab bars mm -hmm. that fit into your design <laughs> and don't look so institutional. Um, but we're also seeing as you see in this shower here, this is a zero clearance entry shower, meaning we don't have a shower curb to step over. Mm -hmm. So for clients who are aging, who yeah. mobility might be a little more difficult for them this is a lot easier for them to get in and out of those places makes, makes complete sense yeah that's a good mm -hmm. idea okay um now i was just sharing that i got a, a new toilet this uh, week and i'm very <laughs> excited about a new toilet um and i it wasn't a smart toilet that's mm -hmm. the first thing you asked me is it yes. a smart tech? is it a smart is it a toilet? smart toilet I'm like no i didn't go for that as much as i wanted to mm -hmm. but this is very popular now this is so we're seeing smart toilets really being kind of on that forefront of the technology trend in bathrooms. So you can, they are integrated with a bidet seat that features a heated seat, which is amazing nice. for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but they offer bidet features. They have a built-in heater. They have a remote that you can program for each individual. Um, so we're seeing those become increasingly popular. Mm -hmm. Are there any other smart um, things besides <laughs> toilets that people are looking at in yes, the bathrooms? Yes, <laughs> so Kohler actually makes, and other manufacturers make them too, but they have a really good medicine cabinet with built-in LEDs and oh. actually built-in Alexa too. So you can say, Alexa, what's the weather like outside while you're getting ready and things like that. Um, so there's also things that you can program. You can set your shower up for each individual and have those programmed per each individual and things like that. So we're seeing technology becoming more prevalent in bathroom spaces. Right. In the bathroom, amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, next weekend you have the Remodelers Showcase and we what do. will people be seeing? What, what would, do you have a highlight in there that you think people really need to see? I think it's just, it's in Edina. Um, it's house number two on the Remodelers Showcase tour. And it's just a really, expansive, large, beautiful kitchen that we did. Um, the biggest thing is a large 81 inch um, vent hood. That is really the star of that kitchen space. So definitely come a vent by. Hood. You're a excited vent hood. about a vent hood. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so come by, tech, uh, talk to some of our designers and 
yeah, yeah, hang out. So my question is, I think I'm the only person in the world that doesn't have a double sink okay. in the bathroom. And so is that trend like stay here to stay? And are people like, no, we need our own separate sinks? We see it both ways. Do you? Um, if okay. you have the room for them, yes, we see clients doing the separate sinks. Um, but if you don't have the space, most clients just do a larger sink and yeah. that accommodates both people. The, they should get a smart cleaner with when there's only one sink. Uh -huh. So when the hairs that come off the beard oh, dip yes. on the sink, <laughs> yeah. something will just clean okay. it. Just work, work it out, Don. Just, just I'm work it out. out right <laughs> here. Get it out. <laughs> just get it out. Well, I only have one sink, but I, I kind of have my own bathroom. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Same. My daughter does need to be taking it over there, too. Uh, Caitlin Stokes, a pleasure meeting yes, you. Yes, pleasure meeting you as well. Yes, I love thank talking you, remodeling. Thank you. Uh, for more ideas, follow Caitlin on Instagram at Caitlin Stokes.